there are total 600 students in a school average age of boys is 12 years and of girls is 11 years while average age of all students is 11 years and 9 months find the number of girls in the school right so simple question total 600 students let's assume the number of boys are b and the number of girls are g so b plus g is equal to 600 statement number one equation one right next point average age of boys is 12 years and of girls is 11 years while the average age of all the students is 11 years and 9 months now i think one of the important parts of the solution is how do you convert 11 years and 9 months to years see you have to balance the units on all the places right 12 years is in years no problem 11 years is also in years but here we have got 11 years and 9 months but understand 9 months is equal to 0.75 year 0.75 one three-fourth of a year right nine months is equal to three-fourth of a year it can be taken as 0.75 of one year so 11 years plus 0.75 of a year so 11.75 years you getting it 11 years and nine months can be read as 11.75 years 11.75 years so for boys the age is average age is 12 years for the girls it is 11 years and for the whole class including boys and girls is 11.75 years right now you know that average is all about balancing it should be equal on both the sides, right? Equal distribution, like we say. Here, what you have to do? Total age of the boys and total age of the girls should be equal to total age of the entire class. Total age of boys plus total age of girls is equal to total age of the whole class. Now, what with the total age of boys? There are B boys and average age is 12 years, so 12B. What will be the total age of girls? There are G girls and average age is 11 years, so total age of all the girls will be 11G. You understand? Average is equal to sum by number of persons so sum will be equal to average into number of persons so average into number of persons is the sum of the ages of boys average into number of girls is equal to the sum of the ages of the girls should be equal to average 11.75 into the number of persons b plus g which is equal to 600 you getting it so 12b so basically this equation has to be solved 12b plus 11g equals to 11.75 times of b plus g now a smart solution will be as follows here Instead of using 12b plus 11g, this 12b can be taken as b plus 11b plus 11g, which is equal to 11.75 times of b plus c. Do you understand? If I take 11 common, this is like 11 times of b plus g equals to 11 times of 11.75 times of b plus g. Yeah. So basically, b will be equal to. You understand? I am take. I can take b common here. I can take. Sorry, I can take 11 common. So this becomes 11 times of b plus g. On this side, we have 11.75 times of b plus g. So 11.75 minus 11 times of b plus c. You can cut down the number of steps. I am writing all the steps so that you can follow the solution clearly, right? You don't have to write all the steps here. Now substitute. So what is the number of boys? Number of boys will be 11.75 minus 11, 0.75 into what is b plus g? B plus g is 600. 75 percentage of 600 is 450. If number of boys are 450, obviously the number of girls are 600 minus 450, which is 150. So your answer should be 150. Your answer has to be 150. You are able to follow? So therefore, the number of girls, don't write all this, huh? but answer is 150. Number of girls is equal to 150. That's your answer. Okay? So this is how you solve it. Please remember, you can cut out at least 2-3 steps from this one. right? You don't have to write everything. Like B plus G equals to 600 is not really required. This is the most important equation. This you have to write properly. And then, you know, ensure that you take 12B plus 11G as B plus 11 times of B plus G. Okay? Now, let me take another example. What I'll do is instead of 11 years, let's let's take another example. For the same question, just change the value somewhere. Instead of, you know, let's let's change 11.75 to 11.25. 11.25, assumption. And solve the same question, what happens? This will help you understand something, right? So what happens? We will say 12B. Still, everything else remains the same. 12B plus 11G equals to 11.25 times of b plus c so now you have understood we'll get b plus 11 b plus 11 g so 11 times of b plus g so b equals to 11.25 minus 11 0.25 times of b plus g which is 600 this is how you would solve i mean if you cut down the steps these are the only steps that will put on paper you understand the average of the whole class is 11.25 12 b plus 11 g right so 0.25 into 600 is how much is 150 so number of boys are 150 implies number of girls would be 450 in this case number of girls will be 450 now why did i do this what do you understand from this see so look at it what we know here is that the average in the initial case was 11.75 so one interesting point to be noted here is that the average age of boys is 12 years and the average age of girls is 11 years 
right average age of boys is 12 years and that of girls is 11 years yeah so there's a difference of only one unit between these two and the average of the class is 11.75 you getting it so let me use the third color now to explain you how do we actually work on this very smartly without having to put pen on paper the average of boys is 11 sorry average of girls is 11 average of boys is 12 and the average of the entire class is 11.75 see try and understand if you look at it the average 11.75 is closer to the average age of boys or average age of girls it is closer to the average age of boys yes or no this is girls this is boys right so girls is 11 boys is 12 average is 11.75 is it closer to boys or closer to girls it is closer to boys it is closer to boys if I if I look at this distance of one unit 11 to 12 is one unit right this is 11.75 it is like 75 percentage towards boys 75 percentage towards boys yes or no 11.75 0.75 look at that extra part 0.75 out of this one unit out of this gap of one unit between 11 and 12 0.75 towards boys that means 75 percentage are boys so out of 600 students 75 percentage 450 are boys remaining 150 are girls look at the same thing here when I change the average to 11.25 if I assume it is 11.25 so what happens the girls average is 11 boys average is 12 right the overall average is 11.25 this time it is closer to the girls it is closer to the girls yes or no it's closer to the girls you're getting it it is closer to the girls average is closer 11.25 is close to 11 or close to 12 it is close to 11 11.75 was close to 12 but it is close to 11 see what does this in what does it mean when i say 11.75 is closer to 12 it means the weight of boys is more Weight of boys is meaning the quantity of boys, the number of boys, the strength of boys is more than the strength of girls. The strength of boys is more than the strength of girls. That is why the average is, you know, uh, towards the boys and not towards the girls. See, try and understand the fact. If average age of girls is 11 years, average age of boys is 12 years, and average of the whole class is 11.5. What do you understand from this one? This all of us know. What do you understand from this one? 11.5 is exactly between 11 and 12. There is a group that group's average is 11. There's another group. This group's average is 12. The overall average of both the groups is 11.5. Now, 11.5 is exactly between 11 and 12. What do you understand from this? This shows us that the strength of the first group is equal to the strength of the second group. This can happen only when the number of boys and number of girls are equal. Only when the number of boys and number of girls are equal, then the average will be exactly in the middle of 11 and 12. Here, the average is more towards the boys which means the number of boys are greater than the number of girls. Here, the average is more towards the girls, which means the number of girls are more than the number of boys. Number of girls will be more than the number of boys. Now, how do you, how do you understand that? See, average is shifting towards the girls' side. Yeah? Average here is shifting towards the girls' side. Again, now this time you can't say because it is 25 percentage, so take 25 percentage of uh, uh, 600, which is 150 as girls. It is towards the girl side, right? So, I mean, basically the idea is you have to divide. See, when I said 75 percentage here, the groups are 25 percentage and 75 percentage. 11.75 means what? One group is 25 percentage, the other group is 75 percentage. Which group will be 75 percentage? Obviously, boys will be 75 percentage because boys are more. That is why the average is more towards boys. 25 percentage will be girls. Here also there is 11.25. The breakup is like 25 percentage and 75 percentage. So 25 percentage is one group. 75 percentage is the other group. But which is the girls group? 75 percentage. Because then the average will fall towards girls, right? So this is for girls. And this 25 percentage is for boys. So if you, if you kind of build this understanding, you will be able to solve this without putting pen on paper. Of course, there are some advantages here the value for girls is 11 that for boys is 12 so it is exactly one unit right so not a problem but suppose if this is 11 and 13 then it will become 2 the difference will become 2 right then 11.75 does not mean 75 percentage and 25 percentage groups then it would mean 37.5 and 62.5 you know that 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 numerical skills are required i mean that's why i always say play with numbers if you can play with numbers then things become lot easier for you anyway even if you go by the conventional methods i mean this is not a conventional method even if you follow this solution you will get the answer really quick but the idea is the moment you look at these numbers right 11 12 11.75 you should know that okay the number of boys are going to be more because the average is towards the boys side so take 75 percent of boys if it is towards the girls side 
take that percentage for the girls and you'll get the answer okay all right so that's the solution for this one the final answer for the number of girls in the school is 150 